Hello everyone, I am Durgesh Sahani and I am going to create a new series of video tutorials for file handling using object oriented programming concept in PHP. So file is nothing but the data containing data like uh, it can be textual file, it can be a music file, it can be video file. So file is nothing but the data uh, we have stored somewhere with a specific format and performing action onto it and performing operation onto this file is called file handling. For example, creating a file, reading file, uh, writing something to the file or deleting file. These all operations we can perform on the file and this concept is called file handling. So PHP provides set of functions to perform file handling, uh, file handling in PHP. Okay. So here you can see I have created a simple uh, layout for uh, here we will write some data and once I click on the write button it should write the data into the, some file and if you want to read the file so just we have to browse that file and click on read button so it will read that data and populate over this text area and if I click here so that file should be deleted this is what target we have for now okay so uh, let's start from the code you can see here this is my uh, HTML code I have written to design that layout and I have created an of blank file here we have to write that uh, logic for reading writing and uh, deleting the file so let's start We'll create a class file and inside it we'll be creating some function write data for writing the file then read data for reading the file and delete file for deleting the file so this is what we are going to do now uh, php provide one function f open and f open function have some parameters first one is f open function is used to uh, open any file into several modes for example if you want to open that file for reading purpose or writing purpose or you want to modify some data or you want to create a new file so for that we, we can use uh, f open function and it have two parameters first one is the uh, path and the second one is mode so these are the mode available in php r for read so it will if you open that file into read mode so it will uh, start your pointer at the beginning and open for read if you provide that w mode so your file will be open in write mode you can write any data into it and file pointer will be at starting point if the file is exist then it will flush the data and uh, start the pointer at the beginning but if the file is not exist it will create a new file a is similar to w but it will not if the file is exist it will not flush your data and it will set your pointer next to the uh, end of your file then x mode x mode is also used to open a file in write mode but the difference is if the file is exist it will throw an error okay so uh, let's just start with uh, write data so for writing purpose you have to open that file first uh, so I'm going to write file is equal to f open this is the function we have to use for 
opening a file so i would specify some uh, file name uh, my file dot txt so here you can specify location as well so on c drive or d drive somewhere specific location you can create this file or if you just specify the file name so it will create that file into the current directory so my current directory is this file so here somewhere it will create this file uh, let's just create this thing so we don't have any file and this will create into this directory okay now we have one function f right and it accept two parameter first one is handler where you want to write so I'll say here and what data you want to write so I'll say this data right and this data will come from uh, as a parameter so I'll say dollar data so we'll pass one parameter data and it will write into it and if this is successful if it is successful then what we will do we'll return true else return false okay okay and we'll uh, we'll call this function from here so here I will open PHP script and here we'll include that file.php so we can use require once file.php now create an object of that file class so just say file is equal to new file and we'll call file dot write data and we'll pass here dollar underscore post data see you can see here uh, we have one text area and its name is here its name is data so we'll pass this thing and we will do this thing only when if uh, each set dollar underscore post if the submit button is clicked then only we have to do this okay the submit button is clicked and we'll check one more condition over here and is equal to right so you can see here uh, we have one button submit button which value is right so if this is equal to right then only go inside and create object and call this function so it will return something right it will run true or false so we can check one condition if this is true then we can specify some message data saved else something went wrong while saving okay just check now see here we don't have any file uh, if you go here refresh it and this is the demo text we have written this data click on write button f open expect, expect at least two parameters one is given at line number five okay 
लाइन नंबर फाइव और सॉरी सो सेकेंड पैरामीटर वी हैव टू स्पेसिफाई विच इज मोड सो वी वॉन्ट टू ओपन दिस फाइल इन टू डब्ल्यू मोड एंड फॉर राइटिंग पर्पज दिस फाइल इज नॉट एग्जिस्ट सो इट विल क्रिएट अ फाइल सो फ्रेश दिस फाइल अगेन जस्ट राइट द डेटा दिस इज डेमो टेक्स्ट डेटा सेव्ड इफ यू गो देयर यू कैन सी दिस न्यू फाइल इज गेट क्रिएटेड एंड हियर वी हैव द डेटा सो रिमेंबर आई जस्ट सेड लाइक इफ यू हैव ओपन एन यू फाइल इन टू डब्ल्यू मोड एंड इफ द फाइल इज नॉट एग्जिस्ट इट विल क्रिएट एंड इफ द फाइल इज एग्जिस्ट सो इट विल ट्रंकेट द डेटा सो दिस इज माई न्यू टेक्स्ट सो इफ यू चेक हियर वी हैव this is demo text but if i click here again and you can check this is my new text so data is changed so, so that's why if you want to uh, preserve your content of your file then you should open your file into a mode so we'll see that that example into the same uh, uh, file so if i open this file into a mode append mode and i'll go again here and say and this is some other data and again i click on write button and if you go again you can check this is appended so this is how you can use append if you don't want to flush your old data then you can use a mode okay so um thank you very much for watching guys in the next session we will see how to read this data uh, from this file okay